Maintenance of Electronic Assembly of Digital Concrete Test Hammer In the use of digital rebound hammer, in case of mechanical reading value inconsistent with digital value, digital value lost, or collection failure, the electronic assembly should be maintained in time. Taking Langry HT225MB rebound hammer as an example, the specific maintenance steps for electronic assembly are as follows. Step 1. Disassemble the electronic assembly. Firstly, bounce the rebound hammer and lock the button. Then use a Phillips screwdriver to loosen the four small screws on both sides of the electronic assembly to disassemble it. Step 2. Wipe the electronic assembly. Turn over the electronic assembly. First clean the dust on the optocoupler with a small brush. Then wipe the three surfaces of the optocoupler with a dust-free cloth or alcohol cotton bowl. Especially the inner sidewall of the optocoupler. Then use a small brush to remove dust from other parts of the electronic assembly. Step 3. Install the electronic assembly. First, move the pointer slider to scale line 80 of the bottom shell. Then move the electronic assembly slider to the scale line 80 of scale plates. And fasten the electronic assembly to ensure that the digital slider straddles the pointer slider. You can press the bouncing bar to observe whether the pointer slider follows. If it moves, the electronic assembly is well buckled. Align the screw to the screw holes and tighten it. Note, the electronic assembly is designed with height integration and modularization. Please do not disassemble or weld it by yourself. In case of possible faulty, you can call our 400 customer service hotline. The special personnel will provide online and offline technical support for you. After the maintenance, it is necessary to detect the calibration value according to corresponding detection process. The error between the value displayed on LCD and the mechanical reading value should not be greater than 1. The calibration value detection should be conducted on different types of testing anvils to ensure the accuracy of each punctuation value.